Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to go over how to use functions or formulas with the OpenPyXL package. We will use LibreOffice Calc, however, the examples shown will also work with Excel and Numbers, etc. For the imports, we will use from OpenPyXL import workbook and from OpenPyXL import load workbook. To create a spreadsheet workbook, we use workbook equals workbook with the round brackets. To get the currently active sheet in the workbook, we can use worksheet equals workbook dot active. For our first example, we have set titles for the functions in cells A1 and A2. To use a function, we reference the cell and assign the function. So we have worksheet cell B1 equals in the quotes, we have equals sum, and in the sum round brackets, we put in the arguments. In this case, we are just summing 2 plus 2. Here we have an example using the average function, where we want to get the average of these numbers here, 1 through 5. To save the workbook, we use workbook.save, put in the path with the XLSX extension. Here we have the results for the sum function, 2 plus 2. And here we have the results for the average function, which is the average of 1 through 5, equals 3. Next, let's go over an example where we add a function to an existing worksheet. To view the data in the worksheet, we use load workbook, grab the active worksheet, and loop over the data with iter rows. Then we put the row in a print and here we can see the data. We want to sum the data here with the values 21 through 35 and add the sum function to the worksheet. To see the cell letters and numbers, change values only to false. To add the sum to the worksheet, we use data worksheet in square brackets A12 equals in quotes equals sum. A2 through A11. So we will put the sum of this data here in this cell here. To save the workbook, we use data workbook.save put in the path with the XLSX extension. And here we have the sum function. In the data validation tutorial coming soon, we will go over an example using the VLOOKUP function. And one last note, there will be some extra examples added to the Jupyter Notebook that will be on GitHub. The examples will include creating a custom Python function that can take in data from a spreadsheet and display the answer in the spreadsheet and an example that will allow you to use a function on many columns, specifically to produce the sum for each column. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.